weekly wheat look. Today is Friday 5th of December um, and it's pre-market open so we're looking at last night's close and as usual we're looking at May 2015 UK wheat chart and we start with the monthly chart which you've got in front of us and you can see here when this downward sloping trend which has been in place for the last two years and we've had this big candle here in October, um, November and December's here. We started off last week with a good move upwards and that's quickly been reversed after hitting this uh, 140 level here, which was the low of 2011, end of 2011. And also was the high here in 2009. Um, so let's see where we are. Pop down into the weekly chart. And you see here, we've got this uh, sloping downwards channel quite clearly defined here on the weekly chart here. Um, you can see here that the 60 weekly moving average just above, uh, the 10, uh, the 5 and 20 have been crossed. We've got this green hour here, I've marked on the chart the last time this happened. Um, you've had a five wave down count. Uh, we've come down to five, uh, touch five here, the lower channel. Um, and you can see here quite clearly how we've hit this 140 and backed off straight away. Um, but we're still, above the two short-term moving averages at the present moment. So I'll pop down to see our plan that was in place from October and you can see here our targets 145, 146. The 50% retracement on the whole move down from April of this year has been, would be at 50% would be 140. That's where we've had, the markets found it difficult to get through today, uh, yesterday. Um, so we just go down onto the daily one and you can see here obviously our short term uh, Elliott wave count was 1, 2, 3, 4 and a 5 up to 145, 146. Uh, we got to high of 143.50 so not far off but then obviously we've quickly reversed down here. We've had this um, big red candle here uh, that was on Wednesday following the fall back on the US. You can see here this 140 line here is marked red line here how it's rejected straight away um, has anything changed in the short term can't see anything at the moment that's changed on this chart on the daily chart we're still all the moving averages three moving average pointing up uh, we did get massively overbought uh, so it's a pullback in a uh, in a in a retra in a, a long-term monthly trend but a, 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 um, a, a rise in a short term short-term basis which has been over the last two months so um, where does it you know at the moment um, I think we still need to see this this 140 test again obviously if we break through then we're back up to the target 146 um, I think if if this swing high high of three here 130 is taken out on a daily close basis then we will we will have to relook at this this to see whether we're going back into a, a sort of a consolidation move rather than up move. It has been a good decent move we've had over the last two months. Um, we are heading into December, which is a you know we've talked about before is a low um, volume can be highly volatile, which obviously tick we are seeing it with these big moves in place at the moment. So it's going to be a difficult month to call. Um, a couple of things which I'm keeping on on the long term basis, we have got a sort of like a head and shoulders, inverse head and shoulders pattern forming here, which if we see a breakout would give us £25 a tonne, which it takes up to 150 155 And you can see I've started to put on these pink um, numbers here, that we, you can do another bigger wave count on a weekly time frame to take us up this higher time frame as well. So. Um, it, it isn't all over. Um, I've still got some longer term work to do on the monthly chart on those cycles, which uh, you can probably see a numbers of sort of adding on there. So that will probably I'll talk about next week when we look at that. Um, so at the moment, um, I see a pullback in, in an upward sloping channel at the present moment, unless this 130 is taken out. Uh, just come back down to look at the uh, uh, the U.S. market at 580. Um, and above this sort of consolidation, uh, we've had a slight pullback and now we're having a resumption of, of this bursting move at the present moment. Um, an aggressive move, all moving average pointing up, so see a sort of an upwards trend, short term trend in place at the moment. And finally, just finish on off, friend the Aussie rape here, 
336, this number we looked at last week, did the video, um, the 6 day moving average, it just is, is just holding the last two or three months above this 336 level and the 60 day moving average. And at the moment it's finding support there. Um, nothing more to say there at the moment, but obviously revisit that if there's a break of those two levels. Um, and just finally come back to this monthly chart here. Um, obviously the, the other thing I'm watching is that uh, every time we've seen two monthly green candles uh, and then we get a third, uh, we do then proceed with a, a good seven to six month rally up. So obviously December close is going to be highly important. That's another thing we can keep an eye on. And I'll put an update this time next week. Thanks for watching.